Alexa, good morning. Believe it or not, the smart lamp you are seeing right now is built at home with zero programming skills. After watching this tutorial, you will see how easy it is to build your own smart home appliance and connect it to Amazon Alexa mobile application. Today in this video, using ESP8266 or ESP32 microcontroller, we are going to build a smart, nicely looking table lamp with the help of KME smart firmware and then link it to Amazon Alexa ecosystem. Along the way, we will do current measuring and circuit simulation. It is time to go smart with KME smart. So without wasting any time, let's put the show on the road. Turn your dream project into reality with PCBWay. I've personally used their services to produce my own prototype for future IoT projects. Ordering your own PCB has never been easier before with a lot of features. They also have open source communities and electronics boards and tools store. The link in the description. All right, so here's the hardware that we are going to use along this tutorial. So as you can see here on this side, I have ESP8266. It's uh, programmed with uh, KME Smart uh, software. I'm going to discuss this in more details uh, along this tutorial. So I have one of the GPIOs is connected to this high side switch uh, circuitry. The circuitry is also connected to 5 volt, uh, which is supplied by the USB directly over here. And the high side switch circuitry is going to switch uh, this uh, light based LED array. So here the purpose of this circuit is to let 3.3 uh, volt uh, pin derive uh, this high current uh, LED array. So let me power my circuit over USB. So now uh, the ESP 8266 will connect to my network. Yeah, so uh, the blue LED indicates that it's connected to the uh, Wi-Fi network and it can be controlled over the uh, KME smart mobile application. Uh, of course, the working principle uh, and every component used in the high side circuit uh, will be discussed. We'll actually demonstrate how the circuitry is connecting the 5 volt directly to the uh, LED array. All right, so in order to see how the whole system works together, we'll need to have a look at the uh, applications that we are going to use. Uh, first of all, let's have a look at the native application, which is the uh, KME Smart that uh, manages the whole uh, system. So here I have one device added to my account and it's the switch I have it over here. Of course, you can add many devices uh, with different types. We'll have a look at this uh, on the where you can decide the type of the uh, device to be added to uh, the mobile application. So now I have my MCU is connected to my network. And you can see here an icon showing that. So if I disconnect that, we'll see how that will change. Now I have turned off the MCU. And as you can see here that uh, it also can detect whether the device is connected or not. You can see that I can't access uh, the device control. So let's turn that on. Yes, so now the ESP8266 is connected to my network. We'll need to refresh. Yeah. So the device is online and I can control it from my smartphone, as you can see. Actually, the brightness level of the LED array is quite high. We'll see that uh, when I show it in some dark place. Of course, it's also possible to control this system over Amazon Alexa. Uh, and let me show you how we can do that. So in order to add this device to the uh, Alexa ecosystem, we need to go to the uh, skills and games. And here we need to search for KME Smart. And we need to add this uh, plugin to the ecosystem. And then we link this to the KME account that we had created. Uh, and on this page, we are going to enter the account details, username and password. 
and as you can see the linking process has been done successfully so uh, one device has been detected which is the device we have here with the ASP8266 go to next so let's select the room it can be bedroom add to group continue so here we can use these uh, shortcuts uh, to control the uh, switch that we have so that's okay next yeah so now we can control the switch directly from the alexa app and yeah we can also make use of the shortcuts that uh, alexa provides so here we can control the switch directly from the uh, home page or we can use the shortcuts that we had seen Alexa, good night. Okay. Alexa, good morning. Okay. Which actually takes the whole system to the next level. Alright, so now it's time to turn this whole mess into a real product that we can use uh, in our daily life. Alexa, good night. Okay. Alexa, good morning. Okay. All right, so here, as you can see, I'm testing the whole system uh, in a more dark place. So let me show you how dark it is without the light. Uh, actually, here, the blue light is the Wi-Fi connection indicator. And also, you can see here how much current the high side switch circuitry uh, is being able to deliver to the LED array which is quite good so in conclusion we have seen that how easy it is to build your own uh, smart home device with the help of KME uh, smart application okay so now uh, let's go uh, in more details about the system uh, and simulate the circuit uh, talk about the KME smart uh, software and see how the whole system works all right, so here you can see that uh, the uh, LED board is connected directly to this uh, power source, the five volt power source. Uh, and here on the USB tester, we can see the amount of current that's being drawn. It's around uh, 460 milliampere. So I need some circuitry that is able to deliver that to the LED board. All right, so here's the circuitry that I'm going to use in my project. Uh, actually, this will allow the MCU that I'm using to switch the LED light source. Uh, the LED board that I'm using is powered by a 5 volt. Here you can see the voltage level and the, on the right button. Uh, and this switch is actually nothing but the I.O. of the MCU that I'm using. And it's connected to this uh, BGT, NPN uh, transistor. Uh, and this one is a PMOS uh, transistor. So this circuit is actually called high side switch because it allows me to switch the 5 volt uh, using 3.3 uh, volt, which is the uh, GPIO of the MCU that I'm using. So if we have a look at the components of the circuit, uh, these two resistors are used to determine the idle state uh, of the circuit. So when the GPIO uh, is not connected, uh, or if it's zero, you'll see that the gate uh, of the PMOS is pulled up uh, and the base of the uh, PNP transistor is pulled down. This will guarantee that no current will flow to the load in case uh, that the GPIO is not connected. All right, so here's the necessary software in order to load the uh, KME smart uh, firmware to the ASP8266. Uh, all you need to do is to connect uh, the MCU board to the USB so let's do that so here we can see that this application does not see any device connected so let's connect our device yeah we here we can see that the connected device uh, is on uh, COM port 3 so we can select that and then we can upload the firmware actually I'm not going to do this process because I already have it and I have my configuration done so if I do that everything will be reset okay so on this part you are actually programming your MCU and what you want it to do let's start from the add process so you can program your MCU to interface 
a temperature sensor, some contact, uh, drive some relay, uh, RGB LED, dimmer and remote. So uh, here I've selected the relay. This is what I want to do. I want to drive some LED array. So this option uh, suits my need. So after adding that, so here you can select the output pin uh, that suits your hardware. So here you can select the pool type, whether you need to have some input and input type. Uh, anyways, so this is uh, enough. Uh, of course, you can also change the icon. We have seen the device icon on the mobile app, on the KMA smart uh, mobile app, of course. And here you can select the name of the device. So here we can delete this feature by holding press on that one and then we can delete it. I don't want to delete it. And after completing adding device features, you need to burn the configuration to the MCU. I have everything already done. You can actually get this firmware uh, from the KMA Smart website. You can have it on the download uh, segment here. You will download it and program your MCU. Notice that the KMA Smart firmware supports the following hardware as well. So it's not restricted with the ESP8266. Uh, okay, so this brings me to the end of this tutorial. If you have learned something new, please like this video, share it among your friends, and tell them about useful electronics. See you in the upcoming tutorials, and bye-bye.